Okay, now we're going to get ready to do the front bumper. In this particular vehicle, we've got a fairly long unit marking or for over here. It's going to come pretty far over. So we're planning on putting that over there. We've got a short, a short number for the vehicle and mark. The star, which actually ought to be in the center, well, you've got the issue about the crank hole. So to balance this out a little bit, my plan is going to be to put the star just off this way a little bit from the crank hole so that you can still, still see the crank hole without that. And I'll put this one out here in this end and that unit marking through there. So to get started here, I have a three inch, a three inch letter on a four inch bumper. So I gave myself a little bit of a, a line half inch above the half inch above where the marking is at to aid myself in placing this on here. The bumper is a little bit rounded, so there's a little bit of eye work have to have to be done here. And uh, check the end of your bumper. Uh, different manufacturers, this bumper has a little bit of a curve in it. Some are more curved than others, and you've got to decide if you want to wrap it around there or stay off that curve on the flat spot. Either way, it'll work. It's plenty flexible to go around the curve if you wish. My plan is going to be to line up the card right on the end of the bumper and go from the top there and get ready to do the, this unit here. All right, now i got some planning. Here we go. I can feel through the transfer but when I smooth it down that the edge of that hole is going to miss the star. So I got just a little bit on the edge there. I got to come up so I didn't push it down too hard yet so I could pull it back off. Again, I can feel that there's a hole plenty far away. I can see when I when I smooth this over that I've got the point of my star right at the edge of the bumper, and at the bottom it's right at the edge of the bumper. So just filling it completely. This there, fold that back, it doesn't quite cover. Now, I mentioned it on the back, I left this thing down. Um, you, you got that leaf spring coming fairly close up here, and sometimes you're spraying here, you end up getting the end of the leaf spring painted white. Try to avoid that.
Okay, they're looking pretty good. Now we'll move over and put the larger one on. 